Do you struggle to come up with epic percussion parts for your music? Hi, it's Simon from Composing Academy, and today I'm going to show and break down 10 epic percussion loops which I've composed, which you can freely use in your own music. These percussion grooves will work well for action music, trailing music, and generally anything that needs a high intensity bombastic feel. If you want to get the sheet music extracts of the rhythms used in the video, check out the link below to sign up to get the PDF. Okay, so the first example here has a moderate tempo of 90 BPM and is in 4-4 time. The groove makes use of mostly low drums, including taikos, serdos, low toms and a doll drum, which originates from India. To add some high-end presence, there are some stick clicks, which are played using thick taiko sticks, hitting it against the side of a taiko drum. These are almost acting as an answering phrase to the serdos and taiko passage, which plays in the first half of each bar. The epic doll part acts as a motor, providing constant rhythm, while the low toms add some extra flourishes leading into each bar. Staying at the same tempo and time signature as the first groove, this pattern concentrates on the low end of the percussion range, with the low toms providing the constant rhythmic motion, along with the epic doll sound again. The accents are reinforced with the serdos at the beginning, before being joined by the low taikos in the second half of the groove. I also use timpani, further adding to the low end texture. For the high end, the snare and sticks have a short 16th note pattern at the beginning of each bar and the crash cymbals heard at the beginning of the second half. This one has more high-end presence than the previous examples, with the snare drum and the sticks hitting rims, providing the main motor. The low toms and serdos each have a similar part, providing a solid grounding for the accents, while the epic doll is used to add some extra sonic interest leading into every other bar. The timpani also follows the main accents of the low toms and serdos. Finally, I use an anvil in the second half of the groove, which cuts through above everything else. Moving away from a normal 4-4 time, this groove has 7 quarter notes in a bar, giving it a much more edgier feel to the previous examples. I've also upped the pace, with the main pulse now at 170 BPM. The snare drum, epic doll and boobams, which are high pitched tune drums, provide the main energy, making extensive use of accents. These help to add a greater sense of groove to the almost constant 8th notes. The serdos are then underpinning everything highlighting the accents of the other drums during the first half of each bar. I use the high toms to then lead into each bar, giving an extra flourish in the form of 16th notes.
Another one which is not in a straightforward 4-4 time signature, this one is in 5-8 time, meaning there are 5 eighth notes or quavers for every bar. Like the 7-4 example, having an odd number of beats in a bar, such as 5 or 7, helps to give the groove an element of uneasiness, which can really help if you're trying to create music with a heightened sense of intensity or action. The low tycos and high pitched sticks represent the main rhythmic division of the bar, accenting the first and fourth eighth note of each bar, splitting it into three and then two. The surdos are then reinforcing this accent, with the low toms also outlining some of the accents along with the timpani. This example is the only one in 3-4, with a fast pulse of 170 BPM. The high-pitched sticks are providing the constant energy, with the tam-tam played with the metal beater also helping to establish the main 3-4 feel by playing constant quarter notes, accenting the first of each bar. The low toms and surdos, bass drum and low tycos, are all playing their own similar pattern with an offbeat feel achieved by syncopated accents. Finally, the high toms provide some extra sonic variation with groups of four sixteenth notes leading into every other bar. Going back to 4-4 time, but with a fast pace of 180 BPM, this example has a more aggressive feel due to the heavily accented low toms and surdo accents on the first and third beat of each bar. This groove is composed in a two bar phrase, with the second bar of each phrase featuring two eighth note accents on the third beat. These accents are orchestrated on the low tycos, epic doll, and tycho sticks. Similar to some of the other examples, I also have the snare drum playing a short pattern which leads into the beginning of each two-bar phrase. Finally, I use a tam-tam, played with a metal beater or triangle beater, which helps give some high-end frequency focus. Staying at a pulse of 180 BPM, this example is back in 4-4 time. The snare drum is providing the main energy with an extremely fast 16th and quarter note pattern. There is generally more space, especially around the low end, than most of the other grooves. The epic doll and low toms are mostly playing every other bar, while a bass drum is playing two notes for most of the bars. I use the high toms and tycho sticks to provide some rhythmic colour in the form of two eighth note accents again in every other bar, along with crash cymbals accenting the downbeat of bars 1, 3, 5 and 7. Finally, the timpani has its own rhythm, adding almost like an answering phrase to the epic doll and low tom rhythm. Here's another pattern in 7-8, again with a quarter note pulse of 180 BPM. Each bar is divided into 3, plus 2, then another 2, giving a very distinctive accented pattern. This main rhythmic division is played by the low tycos, rims and snare drums, with the tam tam coming in during the second half of the groove. A similar pattern is also played by the epic doll, but with additional eighth notes during the last half of each bar. The low toms are playing more sparsely, mostly helping to punctuate the first beat of each bar, with some additional 16th notes leading into the beginning of every two bars. Finally, crash cymbals are used for the downbeats of the first and fifth bars.
Query of 10 has a more steady pulse than the previous example, with a BPM of 120 in 4-4 time. The surdos and low toms are providing the steady pulse with a simple quarter note rhythm, with the addition of two eighth notes at the end of every bar for the low toms. On top of this steady grounded rhythm, the high toms and epic toms have syncopated rhythms in every other bar, providing the main rhythmic focus for the groove. The rims are playing a constant 16th note pattern to add some high end energy, with the snare drum briefly playing two 16th notes leading into every other bar. So there are 10 grooves which you can study and use to help with your percussion writing. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite. And remember, if you're looking to kickstart your composing journey, be sure to check out my free beginner's guide to writing cinematic music in five easy steps ebook, a link of which is in the description below as well.